Hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of Galactic Science 2. So in the end of the last episode I was building a um, process for making rubber. And we got so far but we've actually got one more thing to make. We need to make another synthesizer. And I'm missing a diamond. But I think I've got a diamond in the um, sieve output. But I've actually got an emerald because one of the things that happens here, I'll show you this, I'll take half of those and put those into there. It's sieving um, gravel. It's not supposed to sieve gravel, but it is in the recipe. So if I look for, um, if I do this, and I will look for uses of gravel, you'll see that it actually says I can sieve it. Go across far enough of that. It's yes, and next I'll go sieve, and I can get diamonds and emeralds. Unfortunately, I'm not supposed to be able to. So to, to fix that, we have to do this, slash empty reload, the script's reloaded, and then I can put this gravel in again, and it won't go in. If I put it in there, it doesn't get sieved. So that's how it's supposed to work. Anyway, I got a diamond out of that one, so I'm not going to complain too much. And an emerald, and some lapis lazuli. Now, <laughs> I'm sort of half tempted to cheat, but I'm not going to. But I will put these into here, so we actually get... Um, some items that we can actually then craft it makes life a bit easier now chromium to make emeralds is not too difficult to get hold of actually so let's go and de decompose this because I think one emerald will actually come decompose properly let's move everything across and here we go so we've got some brill, brill which is beryllium aluminum and silicon trioxide and we've got some van an adium, I'm not sure how that's pronounced really, but that's actually something to do with um, tools too. So let's have a look at the recipes for that. So we can supposed to be able to sieve, uh, put moon turf into a va into a crucible, then we shall get. I'll have to try that actually, and we should be able to get some vanadium. That's that's fairly straightforward. Now chromium is slightly different, so let's have a look at the recipes for chromium. You can basically fluid transpose it, not very useful. Chemical decompose chromium, of course, but we've got another hundred and something recipes dust, ingots, nuggets, plates, yes, all the rest of the stuff that you actually is part of chromium. And then we can get it for ruby or when we've been to, oh, so what? What's that one? Venus, I think, by the looks of it. But there's another way to get it, and we should just carry on. We can get it from nether bricks with a 15% chance. Emeralds, of course, which is 100% chance we got that one. But we can also get it from. So it looks like I can find it. It's going hard to find. It's actually a colour. It's gosh, you got a lot of recipes to go through here. I'll tell you which flower it is. It's actually this one here. Sunflowers. So if we look at the uses of sunflowers, you can obviously make shapeless craft them into dye pulverize them to eight yellow make them a vat to make liquid sunshine decompose them and here we get that's this one skimic acid Ooh. actually maybe that's changed skimic acid I'm not probably pronounced that completely wrong shilimic acid I thought we could get it from dandelion yellow actually, so maybe we can. Let's go back. Let's look at the uses of this one. Decompose it into. There we go. Chromium, potassium chromate. And you get one, one chromate. So you basically you can use this to get dan lots of dandelion yellow and then decompose that. as a 100% chance of getting that. It's pretty good. So, how do we make sunflowers? Let's have a look. If you put a, some witch water in a bucket, we'll get some dandelion yellow. So to make some witch water, we need water on top of mycelium, isn't it? So let's have a look at mycelium recipe. This one, and I'm pretty certain we can get this by, my goodness, Fingal, <laughs> Fingal mold, however that's pronounced, I have no idea. I'll have to look it up. So we can put that into a synthesizer and get that. So that's C19H33N 
O2, so that's nitrogen oxide. I guess that is. Um, let's have a look for that one. Yes, that's no, that's obviously buckets. Oh, yes, so it's nitrogen dioxide plus hydrogen and carb carbon. Let's see if I can actually make that nitrogen. I've got nine nitrogen here, which is fine. Oxide oxygen's over there. Uh, carbon should we should have plenty of carbon. It should be up here. Oxygen, hydrogen, right. Fairly straightforward. So we need the synthesizer. So first of all, we need some nitrogen dioxide. Let's take that one out of there like this. Yep. And we'll get to 18 of oh, nine of those. That's fine. And then we need what was it now? I think it was H33. So let's just split that into two. Put one more in it, and it was C19. So if we split that into 21, now I want more than that, don't I? C19. Let's just hope we've got this right. Yes, how about that? Let's take that one and this one and put those two into the microscope to scan those in. So I think with one of those now we should be able to get some. Can we only get one of those? How much carbon have we got here? We should have plenty. Oh wait, is hydrogen a bit short? Of course we need a stack, almost a stack per, don't you? So let's put how much have we got? Two stacks. Oh, wrong one. Try again. What's that giving me this time? Three. I could do with more, but it will spread anyway, so we just need some dirt. Which is straightforward silicon dioxide. Let's clear that off. And I think it was just one in the top right hand corner here. It gives me oh it gives me sixteen. Right, fantastic. So let's go and get a barrel and some water. Oh, I should have decomposed I should have decomposed the uh because I've used all my water up. Brilliant. So let's put those into here. And let's put the diamonds in here. I only want one actually. Let's put one in here like that to get the other chemical synthesizer. Um, ba -ba -bum. I need to decompose this because I need some water. wondering how to stop that. I think I need to stop this machine from working. So if I remove the saplings, yeah that'll be fine. And it shouldn't make any more should it? And use all the water up again. So what have we got in here? And some plenty of water now. Two buckets. Oops, can't get it quite right. Let's get this out of here and put those into the system. I think I can't feed them directly into here. Maybe I could actually. That would be pretty good as well if I put a. Oh, I should do. I don't know how to do that. That's very interesting. Let's just get rid of these other two waters. And what else do we want? We want water in a bar bar uh, bucket of water and. Basically that's it, isn't it? There's a bucket of water. A bucket in here, I think. So now we should be able to get a bucket of water into here. Oh, well, my water disappeared again. Ah, uh, probably is, isn't it? Let's just put this into here and into here. Put the, put the bucket in and see if we can get some water. No, it's going straight out, isn't it? That's a bit of a nuisance, actually. Yep disappeared before I can get it out okay so that must be going into here so that means I need some more water well, let's put a well I suppose what we could do here is just remove that and then go and get some more um, cactus when that's actually had a chance to grow up which it hasn't yet of course because I've only just harvested it oh we've got a little bit here maybe there's enough in this 
Maybe I can get it from decomposing potatoes or something as well. We've got plenty of potatoes. Let's try that as well. So let's have a look at the uses of potatoes. Let's take one of the... Oh, I suppose I could take these ten. Maybe I can get some uses out of that one. You can't do it from this easily, so you have to go back and just do it separately. So I want um, oh it doesn't have any okay so we can't decompose that I thought we could decompose poisonous potatoes this one not can we get uses for that one can we do some decomposing of this one. Yes, and we get eight water. Some potassium and some cellulose. 40% chance. That's actually enough. Let's take these 64 in here. We get some water out of that, which is good. We've got eight buckets already. So now, wrong one. Let's and my water's disappeared again. So where has it gone to this time? It should probably be... Oh, I'll put it in yet. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's right, now we've got a bucket of water. Thank, thank goodness for that. So, I just need my tool. The hammer will do fine. I'm not going to automate it to start with. We'll just put down a, an area for, for this and that, that'll do. I think we'll just put it at the end of uh, here. Oops, that wasn't where I was. Probably not a good idea, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's put that back again. Maybe I can use the hammer. Yeah. Oh, yes. If you press shift you're doing that it doesn't fill it in so let's do that let's do this on here then we want this one that'll do fine my psyllium will put down here like this yep made a boo with that one never mind we'll just leave that one. take that one again block of dirt back in exchange and then we want to Actually, is that a good way of getting dirt? No, probably not. A bit complicated, wasn't it, to get to mycelium? Let's put those into here. And we want a barrel. Do we have a barrel? Stone barrel. We'll have to make a wooden barrel, won't we? So let's do it. it shouldn't be too difficult to make a wooden barrel. I'm just wondering why I haven't got one to be honest with you. What have we got of that? Just we need some, okay, so we need some slabs. Try that again. Right, one wooden barrel. So that's all we need for now. And we need some bone meal. Yes, bone meal is very important because we need a yellow flower. No, I've actually got no space, but I can get rid of this dirt. Don't need that for the time being. So I'm definitely going to have to automate water next time, I think. So let's put the water into there now. And yet yeah, that's certainly transforming perfectly. We've got our first mushroom, how about that? And then we just need to grow some flowers. Let's just grow some flowers. And we've got a yellow flower straight away. How about that? Perfect. So all I need to do, from what I understand, is to put this yellow flower into this when it's rich water, which it is already. And we should get a dandelion. 
Oh, sorry, a sunflower. Perfect. And then for the sunflower, what you have to do is to hit it with some bone meal. And every time you hit it with bone meal, you get a flower, a sunflower back again, like that. Got through those. We can, then, of course, we can go and straight away put those into the pulverizer and get 24 items. Dandelion yellows is what I mean by items. Being not very specific, was I? So that's really bad. Oh, we got, of course, right now my inventory is completely full. I'm going to have to, to get, we'll put those four gravels into there like that. If gravels plural, that is. And I don't need, oh, I've got some more cactus. I've got some moon turf. Oh, actually, moon turf. Let's see if that makes, if we can put that into the, Oh, it's a bit busy at the moment because I filled this up before we started. Oh, completely filled that before we started with the iron. So let's just try putting some moon turf into that. And that should then produce this. And I think that will then go into the system, which should be good. So we need to get rid of this, these two, and then we could be able to do the sunflowers. Like that, and we get. 24 of those. Yeah, still doing iron. We'll come back in a second. Hopefully that's done. And the reason I want to get... Um, actually, I haven't told you why I'm doing that, have I? The, the reason I'm doing... Um, trying to make emeralds is because I want to make some magic wood. And I want to make some magic wood for some gold spikes and then convert those to diamond spikes later on. So what do I want to do? I was trying to decompose these. Potassium chromate, and we've got 24, one for one. And I don't think you can actually, maybe you can in fact, let's have try something I haven't tried, let's, oh yeah, one for one. So you can put that back in there like that, and you'll get a dandelion yellow, perfect. So, then of course we can then now decompose that. It gives that that gives us the chromium and potassium, and so let's have a look here. What have we got in here? Nothing. So we have actually gone. That has gone through. So let's have a look. I think it has anyway because it was nothing in there. Do we have some? Oh, we look seventy-five milli buckets of. Van Adium. So that is the progress towards making um, emeralds. So that was basically the process of that today. In the second part of today's episode, I'd like to complete this. So what have I got here? Let's put down some cable. Like that. I think I need it at least two blocks away. And I'm going to put into that now the or onto that the chemical synthesizer. Like that. And we're going to feed this. I can break this block of course now because I don't need that anymore. Let's take the R, I'll pick it, press shift on it and pick up that piece of mint. So what we can get out of this one now. Oh this is a synthesizer, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's going to be a problem because Items in the synthesizer only come out of the bottom, so I've cabled it up from the bottom. But of course, I want to cable it up from the side. Now this side I want to use here, because I want to feed into this some more carbon and hydrogen, I think, that's what we need to feed into this, if I remember rightly. So what we'll do is we'll put a, a rationing pipe on here like that, and then we can take this one across here like this. And then that will start to feed into here. We should get some one hydrogen, and we should get one carbon, unless I have to split it up. And we should hopefully we've got some carbon in this synthesizer here. Yes, we got carbon there, and we got hydrogen there, and I'm hoping that we get carbon in here too. Oh, we have fantastic that one stack of each. So the next thing we need to do is to take out of this one, but we can't take it out of the side, and especially I can't take it out of the side when I haven't got a, a transfer node. So we must quickly make another transfer node. A bit all over the place with my mouse to down to. Right. 
I don't think we've got any transfer nodes in stock, just a fluid one. Let's clear that off. So we need one block of iron, one block of redstone. Yeah, I should probably make a stack of those because it doesn't really matter that much. You've got 48. And I want, I'll make two. And two blocks of iron because we can always convert those back again, that's no big deal. Shift right clicks. Let's come over here. I've got plenty of iron, then just no redstone. I'll put those two in there like that, and then we want transfer nodes. Shouldn't take very long because they're not high they're not high worth items. And of course now we've got this one, this boy. We're doing really well because it gives us what, seven and a half thousand is it? Oh yeah, done already. Doesn't tell me. But I've got two transfer nodes done very quickly. So, yeah, two is a good idea because I need to take it out of the other one, don't I? What I was hoping to do would be to connect it like this, but of course that's not going to work because that just puts carbon in there because it's taking carbon out of the other one. So we have to remove this one like that and break the power underneath and take the power underneath probably to the front is probably the best place because we need to take the items out of here. Now that's another challenge. <laughs> How am I going to reach the bottom of this? Because I want to put the transfer node on here. Oh, maybe I can do it from over here. If I'm oh no, I think we're still underneath, aren't we? Can I do it? Is there a place over here I can do it from? Oh yes, I've reached the end here, that's good. I might be able to reach from here, I'm hoping I can. I just do. Mint will be fine. So I can step into this like this. And I can just about reach that one. Can I just about reach that one? Yes, I can. Good. No, I can't. Uh huh. I can't reach it. What a nuisance. Alright, that's no big deal. I can actually fix that. Move this one forward. Shift along here and put this another piece of mint in. Not what I want. Piece of mint here. What it might have been just under that pipe. So let's get my transfer node out, which is disap What did I do with the other one? Aha! Uh -huh. Wants to come over into Look at that. I got mint in it as well. It was taking my stuff without me noticing. Right, okay, so we put this on the bottom of this now. And that should fill it with the output. Should. Oh, uh, this is the out butane, it's where it should be going to butane. I want the butane to come into here. Ah, oh, I've taken it already, haven't I? Okay, let's um, put power these two up again now so we can fill this, complete this process. So. If I bring it along here, like I'm in the way, of course, I'll take it up one and then take it across two. They should now be both be powered up. Well, it's got plenty of power, but no recipe. So we need now a butane from it in here. So let's have a look. So I've got no recipe there. Oh, that's bad. I wonder if it's when you start up the game again, it loses the recipes. That's, or maybe it's not supposed to do it like that. Anyway, let's have a look at the uses of butane because I can't remember the recipe off the top of my heart. Um, as a fuel, of course. Is that a good fuel? Burn time sixteen hundred. No, that's not too bad, but it's probably All right. Fluid transposer. This one. So sixteen of these and one will give me one rubber. Oh my goodness, I need sixteen and one C five H eight. Oh, I need to make a C five H eight first of all, don't I? 
which is what I need this one for. Okay, C5, H8. Oops, didn't quite get that right. So now those have come out to there, and let's have a look, see if we actually get those being brought into the bottom of like this. Because that means I need another. Yes, you see, they're coming nicely into this. So now I need to make the the, the butane recipe again, uh, and I can't remember what that was. Let's have a look at the recipes for this one. You can see it. Mass cobblestone. Okay, interesting. We can decompose. So it's C four H eight. That's no big deal. Let's try to do this right this time. That's the one. It's H8 and C4. And we've got into here one propane. <laughs> now we're starting to get the these two in here. That's fantastic. So then all we need to do is link those up and they should then we can then bring those two into another synthesizer which I'm going to have to bring here. All right, better go and do that. And then we can call it a day because it's just about time for the end of the episode. Look at that lot. So one more synthesizer I should have enough of. I think we've got enough items for a synthesizer. And I think, yes, I've still got the recipe here. Somewhere, there we are. Oh, we need one. Oh. Yes, we need one more core, and I've forgotten about that. Uh, it's quite a lot of items, isn't it? Where has it gone to? Atomic manipulator, pistons, and one block. So pistons aren't actually that difficult, but I've got so much stuff on me at the moment. I'll get rid of this items I don't want. Could put my helmet on. Um, so we need some iron ingots. We need eight of those. We need eight redstone. We'll take with one of those. We need wood and we need cobblestone. Cobblestone. We've got compressed cobblestone. That'll give me. I need four. I think that's compressed. Yeah, four nine thirty six. And we need some wood. Three. We probably need more. Do we need eight threes? Twenty-four. Yes, we do. Well, bit of bad luck. Okay, we can do that on our self home crafting, as it were. So let's do that. So, so that one. Oops, wrong, wrong place. I've got wood in here already. Good. So what am I missing for that? Oh, yes, it's probably these. So can we can then make um, pistons? We've got uh, eight. How many pistons have we got in here now? Eight. Perfect. How about that? In fact, I can actually put. Let's put the rest of the wood in here, and I wanted to get the cobbles, the redstone out of that to redstone. Oh, wrong again. And I wanted to do the cobblestone as well, didn't I? So if I need some more, just to put some more ingots of iron, and then that's the, that'll be sorted out. Is there anything else I needed from that? One bucket. Um, I think it's shape crafting this. So that's just one iron block. So we should be able to do that straight away. Let's have a look. Yep, shape crafting. So now we can be able to do the, the synthesizer. Do you know, I'm sure it keeps moving around. And there we go. Like that. So we need another rationing pipe, which is stone slabs and I haven't got any let's clear that off we need 36 don't we have I got enough it was 42 and glass was the other one wasn't it so we did not got some sand in here we've got four glasses not enough I'm not sure how many I've got in the other box either so um, sand 
We've got plenty of sand. We'll make half a stack of sand. Turn that into glass, and that should be enough. I might have enough in here. Any oops, wrong one. I'll keep doing that. No, I don't have any, do I? So we want to put that and the slabs in it. I've got slabs already in here. Look, there plenty of slabs. It was sand I was short of. So we put, I've got two in here. Let's put the rest in here. So that'll then cook up to some more glass. And I think a rationing pipe. I think it was 16, but it could be more. So we've got four, ten. We'll try a sixteen and see if it works for us. You know, it's just think about this mod pack as it's just a bit on the slow side to get things to get progression. The automations to start with quite hard. You've got to make a lot of these machines before we get anywhere, haven't we? So that's six that's twelve, four, sixteen, that's enough. I hope. energy 548,000 it's interesting as soon as it kicks in it does it very fast and there we go and that was the 16 pieces of glass I have a rationing pipe fantastic so now we can go down and finish off I hope this contraption over here to make so what do we need we need another we've got that coming out already I need another synthesizer. I want to put the synthesizer down. Let's put a piece of mint in the way here. First of all, and then we can put on this mint. Piece of mint over here, the next synthesizer. And the synthesizer doesn't matter where it comes into. So if, except for it can't come in at the bottom. So if I put the rationing pipe here. Nope, they've basically got to come down through the bottom here. So if we put it I'm just thinking where I'm gonna go with this pipe. I think I'll go down here like this. Let's take the other pipes here. Is there rationing there? Oh it's my rationing pipe there. And that's of course it's just gone into the area anyway, that's better. So if we bring this up well, I'll bring it up like this, I think. And then we put the rationing pipe on there. Go and get the rationing pipe from the vacuum chest. Like that. So, of course, this needs power. I've got two more pieces of cable, so that's awesome. Let's have a look. So I've got 64 butane and 64, that's pretty good. So the usage of this is now, let's have a look. I think it's 16 and one, isn't it? Yes, 16 butane and one isopropane. Oops, try again. You can't see when you're doing it like that. 16 of those and one of those makes for us this polyisobutyl butylene rubber. We get five of those. I've got too many. So that will stop those coming in. In fact, they seem to come in here in the recipe slot for some reason or other, but I, I don't think that matters too much. So what's happening over here now is we've got one here so we haven't got any hydrogen into this one yet so this was producing the hydrogen should come out of here which one is the hydrogen that's the carbon and that's the hydrogen and that should then go into here yes it is look slowly at two so every time every time it gets eight in it disappears and it comes back again that's fine Okay, that's working fine. So we should be getting some more rubber coming through in here, eventually. How many have we got now? 
we have to wait obviously before we get 16 of these butane so it's quite, it takes a while so that bit is sort of reasonably well automated now and all we need to do now is to come upstairs with this one I could make another synthesizer to complete the process but I think for the time being we'll not do that come on, space. we'll do it this way in the synthesizer here we'll just put in one in the top corner and that makes us that rubber which we can then take I don't know if I can take it if I put it in there of course and then we actually get it takes five million each time so it's a lot of power that's why I only got two each go I'll wait for that one there's the, th there's the fifth one and then what you can do with these this is where it gets a bit uh, slow is so we can put those into an industrial Oh, I haven't got one. Ha! Huh. We'll have to do that next time. I'll show you what we go. The uses of this one here, anyway. What we we don't want that one. Is this what we want? Oh, yeah. That makes the isolated cable mod. So we need one copper cable. And shape crafting. It's not shape crafting. The industrial crucible furnace, and that makes liquid rubber. That liquid rubber will then come into here into this and with the liquid rubber we can then take that take this out while I'm doing that we can take the liquid rubber out of here and make the cables which we need lots and lots of cables for um, the rocket even just the tier 2 rocket lots and lots it's like ridiculous amount 64 I think something ridiculous like that anyway so until next time I'll say Bye for now, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Till then.